right, so I'm sitting here with uh, Isaac uh, Chalimba, uh, head of another fight in Russia for you, uh, fighting an undefeated 8-0 fighter. How are you feeling? Uh, how's the camp gone? Yeah, I'm feeling great about this fight. Uh, it's been long coming. I mean, uh, we told his fight, we're fighting him and the fight like, went out of way, then back, and the dates keep changing. But now I'm, finally, it's, I'm, I'm happy it's finally uh, finalized and it's actually happening in Twix time. And you seem to be settling in at super middleweight now. It's a division that you back to. How are you feeling about super middleweight? How's the body reacting? Uh, you know, as I told you last time, I'm odd for the division. And uh, it's a division that I haven't fought in a very long time. The last time I did it was this year. Yeah. So it's going to be twice in a row, I mean, in a year. And uh, we'll see, I've, I made it last time. This time I, I should be okay. I'm getting down there again. And I think I'm comfortable with it. Um, well, it's a good opportunity for you, WBC silver title on the line. Um, fighting an 8-0 and fighter, I mean, that would be the only reason, I'm, I'm guessing, was the belt. Yeah, uh, and also because he's a champion. So it uh, doesn't matter of my experience and well, how many fights he's got. He's a champion, so you have to fight whoever is in, uh, in his way. And uh, apparently the guy's got a good amateur record, uh, 300 and some, I mean, 300 plus amateur fights. So they believe he's good enough to be fighting at that level. So, you know what, it's a WBC... Uh, silver world, I mean, uh, silver world title, and uh, winning that will, pay me, will put me close to the actual world title. So I'm happy about it. We've seen the silver title in uh, recent years doing really well to getting guys, propelling guys to to the main stage. Um, do you do you think that this is uh, going to put you just one step away from that world title? Yeah, uh, unfortunately, I'm, I'm not so sure how long I'm going to be in the game, but uh, we'll see. Uh, if after this end, I've got a chance to fight guys like Canelo who are holding those big titles in super middleweight, I'll stay a bit longer and do that. But we'll see after this fight. What's your motivation at the moment? So you just just keep winning. Yeah, now um, I just want to get some good fights behind my name, uh, finish at the top. Uh, I don't want to be one of those guys that get at, towards the end of their career, they got beaten up by nobodies. So I just want to finish right, uh, defeat some undefeated fighters, some top fighters, and hang up the gloves. I want to have a quick uh, look at Pavel from your perspective, because I know you're a student of the game, you watch a lot of boxing, seeing you on your phone, you're looking at old fights. When you look at someone like him, um, how do you compare yourself uh, to a boxer like him? Uh, let's say, I, he's a good fighter. I won't take anything away from him. He's a uh, civil, uh, water, I mean, WC civil titleist. And he's got a good record, amateur wise, professionals, only eight fights, as we said. But you know what? Uh, there's a lot of things missing in him. Uh, he's young, 27 years old. I think he's got a couple more years to learn. I don't know how long it's going to take him before it's too late for him. He's got some good things in him but i can see straight away some you know some mistakes so right now we're just working on capitalizing on those mistakes and go uh, take it to him do you think he he ranks in your top opponents that you faced <laughs> no 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 not at all and uh, do you think he'll be a tougher fighter than chudinov no chudinov is he's a good fighter he's a tough guy i mean he's Chipnov is a bit slow, but he's hard. He, his old feet comes forward, throws punches. This guy, he needs to sit to find the opening. And once you give him that, I saw the guys he fought in his eight pro fights, they will give him a chance. There's one guy that gave him a bit of tough time and he struggled a bit, even though he defeated a guy. But most of them, they give him a chance to do whatever he wants to do. So once you put him in an uncomfortable position, he's got no idea what to do. And uh, do, you, do you think that your style in particular makes it difficult? Because I've seen uh, a lot of good boxers struggle to adapt to you. Do you, do you think that's still the case with you? Um, I don't think it's style per se. Uh, Everyone got different styles, I know, and styles do make fights. But it's not the style, it's the thinking. In it. um, I mean, I can come in with my style and someone else can figure it out and I won't know what to do. But if I can overthink them, come up with, try to come on top all the time that's what matters so to me i try to overcome whatever they're doing try to stay on top at every second i think that's the only thing that makes it different than me when we when we did that sit down podcast we we're talking about like boxes getting in your head and so forth i don't know if the the opponent can speak english or if he just speaks russian but is there anything at this point he can do to throw you off your game yeah no i don't think so i've seen him um 
I mean, I haven't watched him uh, doing the interviews or anything, or talk, but you can just see that he's not the type of guy that gets in your face or anything. And, but also, at the end of the day, as I told you last time, I've seen enough. I've been in a position, in that position a couple of times. And now, at this stage, no one can really do that to me ever again. So, do you walk into, how, much, how confident are you walking into this fight? Let's put it that way. 120%. That's how confident I am. I mean, I don't see anything to stop me. All right, and uh, always preparing for anything that happens in a fight. If, if by some reason it doesn't go right, are you going to call it a day? I don't know. Um, I, I'm thinking about calling a day either way. Uh, win or lose, but lose is not anywhere near in my, my thinking. I don't think I can. Uh, I mean, there's no space in losing this fight in my mind. And uh, but you know anything can happen. Um, we saw when I fought good deck, my arm went, and I just couldn't do anything about it. So yeah, anything can happen. But the retirement is what in my head. I don't know after the fight how I'm gonna feel. I know I'm gonna win the fight. After that, uh, I'll give myself a couple of days. Um, I'll think about staying in Russia for like two, three days just to see Moscow. Cause I haven't. I mean, I've been there, but I haven't walked walk down the streets. And I'll give myself those two or three days just to think about everything. And when I come back, it's a holiday anyway. And uh, during, those holiday, during the holiday time, I'll think about it and see. So if you ever see me bounce back next year, that means I've given myself a year more or two or three more fights. But if you don't hear from me anymore, you know I'm done now. I'm just all dad at home. All right. And now that you mentioned that, I mean, when you fight like every fight is your last fight, do you expect that to be a better performance than usual? Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I want, as I said, I want to go out on top. I don't want to be one of those guys that if you look at them, their record, they did great. Then towards they could be known by some unknown guys and really tired. No, I want to finish on top. I want to finish with the bang. For example, I know I can't put myself in, in his category, but for me, whether I finish on top and done, and other top guys that we know that they finish, rather to not get knocked out, then retire now. But being the silver champion, you don't think if you thought about calling it a day, you'd have so many if, what, like not, what questions in your head? No, for me, it doesn't matter anymore right now. It doesn't really matter whether, I mean, as I said, I was, I'll see, maybe I might get a good opportunity and say, okay, maybe it's worth, that worth uh, staying a little longer. But that will say it's not necessarily about the fight, the money, or anything. Um, just, I mean, this is my 20th year I've been in the game, and I feel like 20 years have taken a lot out of me. My body's tired. So, no ambitions of going back and fighting in America again? Uh, we'll see. I need that fire. Right. Yeah, I need that fire burn again in me. For now, it's like I'm, I'm really trying to, you know, pumping it to keep it. You know, exactly yeah, but for now the fire is like almost, you can actually walk on it. That's where I am right now. All right, and so you wearing Roy Jones on your t-shirt, so his song can't be touched. Uh, <laughs> See, he's my, everybody knows, he's my man. That's one of the guys why I'm in this game. Well, when I watch them and want to be like, and now working with him, it's a privilege. So yeah, make sure. Like in this moment in time when I know I've got a few weeks to the fight, I always have that motivation with me. Is he, is he going to be there with you? Uh, unfortunately, not this time. He's got other things to do. Uh, but uh, we are connected. Uh, we speak. Uh, he speaks to Jody and myself on a weekly basis. And we know we, we're working on our game together. So even though physically he might not be there, we know he's that there. he's there. Alright, and I want to get a prediction for you on this fight. Obviously, you think you're going to win, but in what manner? Um, you know what? Everybody, every fighter wants this, wants a stoppage, wants a knockout. And right now, I really want to knock out, go out with a bang. But either way, whether it's a knockout or, or points, I know I'll definitely come back as a winner. Alright, cool. So, we will obviously be watching the fight, watching your decisions, every single move that you're going to be making within this next couple of months towards the end of the year. Is there anything, lastly, uh, you want to say? Um, the only thing I can do is thanking everybody, my team, uh, Jody, my, um, Jim Metz, Spark Partners, Patrick Parkman, 
Leo and everybody else who has been, I've been sparring with, who, uh, who supports me, my family, every motivation I get, Roy Jones himself, every guy, every person who trying to give me that push to, I mean, that motivation to keep going in this game and who has been there since the beginning of time, I'm mean, beginning of my career. So, yeah, that's the only thing. And the fans who still enjoy watching me, so we're looking forward to see the fight. I really appreciate that. All right, thank you very much for speaking to us. Uh, thank you very much, man.